It's become far too common of a scenario. Someone coming somewhere like the neighbor center for a warm meal after being Very laid good. off. Good, how are you? Good. Neighbor Center emerged as a place for people who are struggling with homelessness and poverty to come to find resources. Uh, everything from hot showers to a place to do their laundry, um, some advocates to help, even a hot cup of coffee. Originally aimed to assist those battling homelessness, the Centre now has brought in their services to aid the growing number of people affected by poverty all throughout Edmonton. I think it's really important to realize that Edmonton is a large community and we have homelessness throughout Edmonton. Uh, the downtown core, of course, is the more traditional, but homelessness has been moving out uh, to the west end, to the east end, out to the south here. Um, the homeless have been here for years. They've been camping in the Mill Creek Ravine, they've been camping out of the River Valley, uh, they've been living over here. It's just, we haven't wanted to see them here. And I think there's a final acknowledgement from the communities here to say they're here, how do we help them? and now the community has to face a new representation of poverty. It now includes families scraping to make it work after being laid off in this economic downturn. Since we opened our doors in 2012, we have seen a 300% increase of in the number of people we serve. Uh, in the last month, we have seen a 20% increase. The need for services has definitely increased, according to Paula Connell, who's worked here for over three years. Yeah, I mean, you really get to know people. I, I see some of the people here more than I see my family. And so, um, you know, it, you, it is really hard when you see people that you love and care about going out and sleeping on the street every day and knowing that, you know, there, there's only so much you can do to get them into a place or that sort of thing. But, you know, there's been countless stories of people that have said, I've been contemplating suicide and because I know that um, people here care about me, I have decided not to do that. With an increase in demand also comes an increase in need. I'd say, you know, there's multiple ways to support us. There is a wish list. You can go to our, our website at theneighborcenter.ca. And of course, we need financial donations. Uh, we pay water bills here for people to have showers and to do their laundry. And so those are the types of support we need, uh, as well as volunteer help. This centre would not be open if it wasn't for volunteers and the work they give to us. Whether it's $5 to keep the lights on or an offer to aid a family in need, they are keen to have Edmonton assist a population who never thought they were one step away from using their services. In Edmonton, I'm Bianca Jade.